Susan at 603 now for many of you here in Southeast Louisiana. The two most contentious races on today's ballot include the presidential election and who will represent Louisiana in the U.S. Senate. Yeah, Louisiana voters will also cast their ballots for six constitutional amendments today. Yeah, so joining us live from Baton Rouge is Secretary of State Tom Shedler with a look at what's on the ballot. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Shedler. And first, uh, we're seeing a record number of voters this year. What's prompting so many people to the polls? Well, Randy, I, I, I've always said, I mean, I think it's uh, no hidden fact that the American public is very frustrated, angry, and it's been evidenced all the way through the campaigns. And, and certainly uh, we saw that in early voting in Louisiana. We hit a record of 515,000 voters who have already registered, I mean, uh, voted. Uh, and that surpassed the previous record of some 356,000. So um, we're expecting a brisk turnout today. Now, certainly the rain across the state will probably dampen that some degree but we were anticipating a 70% voter turnout uh, based on historic data and, of course, the early voting statistics. But we'll have to see how much the rain actually affects it. But uh, let's face it, Louisianians are used to rain. Uh, put on those galoshes, shrimp boots, whatever you want to call them, and, and rain hoods and, and get out and vote. Uh, I know that sometimes uh, during the day it could be potentially heavy, but uh, you know, try to gauge that. And uh, we want everyone to go out and go vote, and that's GEAUX in Louisiana. That is the spirit. And so the U.S. Senate race is we, also, we also a big one for folks here in Louisiana and is expected to go to a runoff. So uh, what do voters need to know about that? Well, I mean, we've, we had 24 candidates. We had one candidate drop out. Um, but uh, no, no, and, and there's no doubt we'll have a runoff. But again, hotly contested. When you have that many people in a race, a very slim margin of votes could make the difference of someone getting into the runoff or not. And uh, so uh, every vote counts. I know a lot of people don't feel that, but, but I can assure the voters out there that every vote counts. And on that note, if anyone has a, an, a, what they perceive to be a problem with a voting machine, that it, you're pressing it, you don't think it's lighting up for the right candidate, the time to deal with that is with the commissioner in charge right there with you. Do not hit the cast ballot if you perceive something is wrong. To call me tonight or a week from now or get on Facebook, doesn't do anything to rectify the situation if it actually is occurring. So uh, we urge people to do that. Remember, you need a photo ID. It can be a driver's license. It can be any legitimate ID with your picture and, and name on it. Um, and, and at 8 o'clock, the polls close. But if you're in line at 8 o'clock, you are allowed to vote. Someone will come and mark that spot in the line, and you will be allowed to vote. It may be 30 minutes later, but you'll be allowed to vote. Now, when that clock does strike 8 o'clock, uh, Secretary, Se wanna... uh, Secretary Shedler, when the clock does strike 8, 8 o'clock, whenever the polls do close, uh, there are ways that we can check those results here in Louisiana, right? Yeah, yes, ma'am. And, you know, one of the ways to do it, you can do it uh, right on your Go Vote app. That's G-E-A-U-X on your phone. I mean, it's live uh, as I report them here in Baton Rouge. Uh, it also gives you a, your, a GPS map directly to your precinct if you're, if you're concerned about that. So uh, we urge people to consult that. Uh, and also, it's a great tool while you're in line to, uh, as was indicated in, in the intro, we have six constitutional amendments. So it gives you time to look at your ballot, study it. You can mock a, a vote that, bring that into the precinct, and actually use that as a guide. Uh, when you vote, you get uh, an, uh, an I voted sticker. Matter, we're very pleased to have uh, George Rodriguez or his family that have allowed us to use this this year. Uh, it's been wildly successful and, and people are very enthusiastic to get it. We actually had people that voted by mail that was concerned that they didn't get it. We've been mailing those to them. So uh, uh, if, you, if you're going to go vote, you get a, a George Rodriguez I voted blue dog sticker. And Mr. Secretary, uh, just quickly, a lot of people have been asking about taking selfies within the, the polling places and at the uh, actual booths. Is that, that legal? What tips do you have for that? Charles, it, yes, it is legal. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it, quite frankly. You know, the vote has always been traditionally a private vote uh, between you and whoever you uh, maybe want to disclose that to. But um, it is legal. Uh, we just ask you to be courteous for those people behind you in line. Lines potentially could be long, and of course, uh, taking selfies could be disruptive or, uh, or uh, elongate that line uh, unnecessarily. So uh, I'd urge people to use some caution with that. Or, I, like I said, I'm not a big fan of it, but uh, that kind of seems to be the new wave.
All right, Secretary Shedler, thank you so much for joining us this morning, giving us your insight on today's election. And as Secretary Shedler mentioned, if you want to see the example ballot and a breakdown of those six constitutional amendments, we have that Go Vote link on our website as well as on our WDSU mobile app.